welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about an infectious disease called as meliolodosis, also called as Whitmore's disease that can infect humans or animals. So the question here today is why is there an increasing rate of this infectious disease in our country? Meliolodosis is also called the great mimicker of tuberculosis and other diseases and there is an urgent need to create create awareness among the clinicians as well as microbiologists. Now lack of experience of such diseases without any clinical clues or familiarity with the disease possibly was the reason of this reporting that was done according to a review in Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India. So a five-year retrospective study of case records of only 20 patients out of 34 were proven with meliodosis were traced. 12 of them even died in the hospital setup. Melioidosis is a life-threatening fatal disease but potentially also found to be curable. The researchers say that there can be a decrease in the mortality rate to less than even 10% with faster bacterial confirmation, appropriate antibiotics and even a good hospital care. So if I talk about the disease in detail, it is common in tropical climates with hot, humid and even higher rainfall and wind. The bacteria usually persists in the soil. Patients with uncontrolled diabetes, mellitus, prolonged glucocorticoid therapy, as well as chronic liver or renal disease are more prone to developing melioidosis. So melioidosis is much more commoner than ever believed to be diagnosed in tropical countries like India, which is still date known as the diabetic capital of the world. The disease is grossly underreported in the tropical regions in India, probably major reasons being a lack of awareness as well as multiple symptoms that imitate other conditions without specific identifying features. So even if diagnosed at times, it is already too late or even after death. So the signs and symptoms of melioidosis mimic other diseases as I previously mentioned like tuberculosis and often results in the delay of diagnosis and ultimately the delay in the management of such a condition. Therefore the importance of awareness and knowledge of this disease entity is of great importance. So the treatment regimen consists of early aggressive antibiotics for weeks and is followed by prolonged maintenance which is quite different from other acute bacterial diseases. So the authors of this report of this research concluded that many patients die due to non-diagnosis, delayed diagnosis or even an inadequate and incorrect treatment. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.